Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 4th. Uh, this week I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and make sure to hit all notifications so that you actually get notified. But uh, Gemini, let's see what we have going on for you here this week of the 4th. And All right. It's been a pretty good week for everybody, so... Uh, I would expect the same. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you start off with the King of Diamonds. Uh, there could be a soulmate coming in for some of you is what I would say here. Um, the King of Diamonds is the card of the soulmate. could be any sign. And you have the Two of Hearts as well. But not only that, you have the Eight of Hearts, which is the card of um, being able to live a romantic fantasy here on Earth. So, uh, again, putting all those pieces together, some of you could have somebody new coming in. doesn't matter what your preference is, male, female, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't attach sex to my cards, but... Definitely somebody coming in for you. Uh, Ten of Clubs is a card of marriage. So again, this could be somebody that you get married to or somebody that you really enjoy. Uh, so I would say if you're open to it, definitely very good love cards. For others, this is a, just a really good card for abundance. So there could be new abundance in work and there could be new opportunities for you to make more money in work as well. So I feel like there could be just um, just general kind of like work changes here with these cards but this would represent like extra responsibilities or um, you know some sort of like new position that would involve more responsibility so uh, I would be staying open to those opportunities uh, next you have the eight of hearts so again needing to live your romantic fantasies here on earth it just says that there will be opportunities for you to attract what you want in life uh, here on earth so again, I would stay open to those opportunities. For others, this is, I feel just a gift from the universe. So, and mostly because of this right here, uh, Six of Spades, these cards can represent karma and they can represent karmic situations, but they can also represent like karmic payback. So a lot of you could be getting a gift for good deeds or good things that you did in the past. And I feel like this will be very nice. So very good for you. This is also an amazing card for dating. So any of you who are thinking about getting out there, dating, meeting new people, I feel like it would be a really good time for you to do that. Uh, next, you have the Six of Spades. So again, karma. Some of you could be seeing karma. For others, this is just a card of incremental improvements and momentum. So it just says that you will be noticing things happening faster. Yeah. And it's probably going to lead to a recovery. So this could be like maybe you need money and it's like maybe all of a sudden you start making more money or you know there's some sort of improvement there or maybe you need better health and maybe you just start making improvements and it's like this is a card of like one thing leading to another. So I feel like there could just be general improvements for you this week or you are going to just start making these general improvements that lead to a recovery for you. So I really like to see that as well. Next, you have the Four of Clubs. So uh, Four of Clubs is the card of uh, trusting your thoughts. It's a card that says your thoughts are aligned with the truth. So I feel like you need to trust your thoughts at this time. I also, this is a card of retrograde energy as well. So I feel like a lot of you could be revisiting things from the past, Six of Hearts, definitely with this. And you could even be focusing on things that happened maybe like any time last year. I have the chart up over here. I mean, just last year was crazy as far as retrogrades are concerned. So you could be having a lot of like recurring thoughts or a lot of recurring ideas. I would say you need to pay attention to those recurring ideas with the six arts. This card here says that you could be thinking about trying something or you could have maybe, maybe it's like you had a new business idea or an idea to write a book or an idea to start a new relationship with somebody that you're interested in, like during the summer, but like maybe now is the time to do it. Six arts says, that's what Six of Hearts means. It says now is the time to do something that you want to do. Six of Hearts is the card of a turnaround, but it mostly just says that anything you've been thinking about doing, if there have been challenges, um, now is the time to do it again because Six of Hearts says the challenging energy is going away. The challenging energy is lifting. So now is the time, Gemini. Uh, finally, next, I mean, you have the Two of Hearts. So perfect match. I feel like some of you could have a perfect match coming in. Yep, next card was you. So I wasn't going to show you this, but this is you. It's just you showing up here. Puts you in a position of power and strength. So I feel like there could be a perfect match coming in for some of you. For others, again, this could be you just matching up perfectly with a job or a business that makes you very happy. It can just represent like happiness and, you know, a perfect match in the sense that you get a job that is just good for you or you get a new position opens up and it's you know a perfect match for you in some way 
So I like to see that. There's a focus on friends here now. Um, now that you show up here, so I would say, and this this has come up for you before. This is a card of socializing with friends. So I do feel like some of you need to get out there. I feel like you need to meet new people and like socialize with friends. Uh, I feel like you just need to separate away from like the mundane. Yeah, this is a card that you know. This is a card. It could represent a breakup. Some of you could have gone through a breakup. But I really I need to see more here uh, to say that you went through a breakup. But you know, obviously some of you could have. But this is a card of separating away, especially with the seven of spades, separating away from like everyday life, needing a break from work or needing a break from something. So I feel like a lot of you, this always comes up for you, Gemini, even for those of you Geminis that read for, you know, it comes up a lot that you need a vacation or you just need time for yourself. Uh, but Gemini uh, looks amazing, looks really good. Definitely a break week for you as well, I would say. Yeah, it could just be a vacation week. Some of you could just be getting a break. Maybe it doesn't feel like a vacation, but, you know, maybe the energy isn't as intense. But it uh, looks really good. So thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.